Welcome to this session on how to record and replay in Catalon Studio. Today in this session we are going to learn how do we record our first test case, how can we add assertions, checkpoints, how can we edit or update our test case and then finally we will replay our recorded test. We will also look at some useful tips. Let's get started and the first thing is we have to record our test case. So for that let us go to our Catalon Studio and I'm going to create a new Catalon project and I will name it as test project and hit the OK button. So this is going to create a new test project and now we will create a new test case inside the project. So go to this new test case and I will name it as test1 and hit the OK button. So this test1 is now ready for us. And now we can start recording our test case by clicking on this record button. So before we do that, let us see what exactly we are going to record. We will go to this URL, which is Enterprise Demo Orange HRM. So this is the website. So this is a demo website for Orange HRM and it gives us all the username and passwords for different roles. And we are going to use this particular website. I will also make this URL available in the description of this video. And then we are going to do a login, do some basic actions and then we will finally exit. So let us go and hit this record button. It is giving us a record window. Here we can give this URL, the starting URL. And now you can start recording on any of these available browsers. So let us select the Chrome browser here. And I will also split my screen so that you can see the recorded actions. So I am doing a login by giving a username, a password, hit on the login button. Now I'll go to the timesheets menu. I will hit on the search button and I want to validate this particular error message. So the second thing we have to do is we have to add validations or the checkpoints. So now on your recording window, if you go to your recording window, you can click on this add button and add validation point and you will get this action verify element present. If you hit the drop down, you will get all the checkpoints keywords. So one good thing is that you can see it is giving us only the checkpoints keywords, not any other keywords. And you can select the object by clicking on the elements section. And here I can select the object. This is something I want to validate. And that's it. So I have added a validation point and I, now I can stop my recording and now we have this recorded test case ready. Let us quickly look into this recording window. We have three sections. This is the section where we have all our captured objects. So all the objects that we interacted during our recording sessions are captured here. The below section is the section for the object properties. So in case you select any of this object here, its properties will be displayed here. And then we have this actions. So all the actions that we recorded are being displayed here. And now you can hit the OK button and it is asking us to add our elements to the object repository. The good thing is we are getting all these checkboxes. So if you want to skip any object, you can uh, uncheck it and then you can add all these elements or the captured objects to the object repository. One suggestion is in, instead of adding all this to the default object repository, we can create a new folder. So I will hit the new folder here and I will name it as test1 underscore or or is the abbreviation for object repository so in future whenever i have i have to edit i know that test one underscore or is the object repository for test one hit the ok button and ok here and now our test case is ready the third thing is we can edit or update in manual mode so you can see now we are into the manual mode here and now we can add new actions or we can delete these actions we can move it up or down or anything we can do in the manual mode we will look into more details in the manual mode in our coming sessions so for now let us uh, replay our test case in any of the available browsers 
so now our test case is ready let us save this and now for replaying you go to the run button and we have all these options so we have recorded in chrome let us select firefox for replaying our test case so this is launching our test case it should open a firefox browser and replay our recorded test case let us wait for the background process to complete and yes now it is opening a firefox browser and now it is replaying our recorded test so we logged in it's, it will go to the timesheet and then it will search and validate and yes it has finished and now you can see this is done if you go down to the log viewer double click here and you are getting all the results or the information here the good thing is you can filter it if i want to see all the information i can hit the all button if i just want to see the past i will filter the past fail errors warnings and so on so this is going to be very useful you can also create a report by adding this test case to a test suite and then generate a report out of this this is something we will look into more details in the coming sessions let us look at some useful tips so while you are recording in case you need to update any object identifiers or you want to capture new objects what you can do is you can use the object repository to update your object identifiers let us go to our object repository and i'm going to this input submit button and it will list out all the details of this object all the attributes and the identifier so you can see as of now it is detecting this object by these two identifiers which is tag and xpath so you can edit this you can select some other identifier or you can uncheck the already selected ones and also you can go here match conditions and you can say is it equals or contains or you can match a regular expression and so on so this is how you can very quickly update your object identifier the second thing is in case you want to capture a new object what you can do is you can go to this spy web at the top menu spy web it will open this window and again you have to give a url so i'm going to give my same url here and you can hit the start button any of these browser let us select firefox and you can see it has it is opening our url on a firefox browser and now you can see wherever i am taking my cursor it is highlighting that object and you can press the alt and the twiddle key or the back quote key on your keyboard to capture that object for example i want to capture this login button i will highlight it and enter the alt plus twiddle key and you can see here I will close this now it has not captured so I'll use a Chrome browser I'll hit the alt plus twiddle key and it has captured the object here so you can now add this object to a object repository if you wish i'm cancelling it as of now and this is how you can add or capture new objects let us do a very quick recap today in this session we learned how do we record our first test case how do we add assertions and checkpoints how can we edit and then we finally replayed our recorded test.